Okay, Rikita, can you please introduce yourself? Good morning, sir. It's a pleasure to introduce myself. My name is Rikita. I am from Pedabali, Kalimba. Uh, I have come to the Pedabali, Kalimba. I have completed my graduation. That's the chemistry of Kibli. Uh, and I have done my academic project. Next, standalone photovoltaic water coupling system. In the induction of water drive with ready to sensors. And my lifetime goal is to become bad as this. To achieve my goal, I want to settle in uh, IT sector, so I want this job. Uh, I am interested in uh, listening to music and reading books, which boosts up my mind. Uh, I am self motivated. Uh, if any situation comes, I motivate myself to overcome the situation. And I am flexible minded. Uh, I can adapt any situation. Uh, coming to my family fellow, uh, there are four members, including me. What are your technical skills? I have C, C++ and Java. So how do you rate yourself in Java? So can you explain Java features? There are so many features. In that, it is simple, secure, like from independent, object-oriented, multi-threaded, and etc. Okay, what is platform independent? Uh, it is platform independent because uh, Java generates bytecode. Due to uh, bytecode, we can run the program on any operating system. So, what is object oriented programming language? If any language follows the core feature, that's uh, OOPS concept, that is encapsulation, abstraction, polymorphism, and inheritance, uh, then it is called as object oriented. So, what is JVM? It is a Java virtual machine. Okay. So what is garbage collection? It is used to clear up the memory, which is the unwanted uh, memory occupied in the uh, memory. So who does this garbage collection? JVM. JVM. So what is the variable? It is a reserved memory location. So what is the analysis? It is a data structure with similar type of types of data. So, how many books do you have? There are four concepts. So, what is abstraction? <coughs> abstraction is a concept in which it represents the essential features and hides the other background details. So, how do you achieve this abstraction? By using abstract classes and independent So, what is polymorphism? It is a concept in which it exhibits more behaviors using in different situations. In different behaviors. In different situations. So, how many types of polymorphism are there? Two types. What are they? Static and dynamic. So, what is the difference between static polymorphism and dynamic polymorphism? Static polymorphism is run at compile time and dynamic polymorphism is run at run time. So, what is method overloading? Method overloading is uh, the method name is same, but it should be different in the number of parameters, sequence of parameters, and data types of parameters. So, what is the package? Python is group of sim similar collections and interfaces. Okay. Classes and interfaces. Okay. So, what are the non access modules? There are three types of non access modules one is static, final, and abstract. Can you explain about final? Final is the keyword. Uh, if we declare final for variables, uh, we can declare final for variables, methods, and classes. If we declare for variable, uh, the value cannot be changed. It means fixed. If we declare for class, the class cannot be inherited. And if we declare for method, the method cannot be overridden. Okay. So, what, what is an abstract method? Abstract method. This is having only method declaration. Uh, this is called as Abstract method. So, what is an interface? Interface. It is similar to classes. Uh, it has only abstract. It has abstract methods and non-abstract methods. By default, the methods are abstract methods and variables are static and final. So, can we create an object for an interface? No, we cannot. So, then how do you access the methods that are present in the interface? How do you access the methods that are present in the interface? Using class, using method concept by implementing by implementing the concept. So, what is an exception? 
exception is an unlawful or unnecessary uh, application. <coughs> situation. Situation and application. So, what is the exception handling? Exception handling is the mechanism of uh, uh, mechanism of handling and the mechanism. So how do you, why do we need to handle the exceptions? Uh, to fix the errors, uh, to give the useful information for users, uh, to return the resources normally. It is not to fix the errors, it is to continue the norm of law okay. execution. Okay. okay. So what is the difference between collection and collection? Uh, collection is an interface uh, and collection is a classes which has utility methods like sorting and uh, search. Sort methods. Search methods. So, what is an array list? Array list. It is a direct array list in the group of collections uh, which has uh, some, some of properties like it is it contains heterogeneous element data types. Uh, it is a growable array. So, what is linked list? Linked list, it is linked list is used to uh, manipulate the data. Or it, manipulation in the sense inserting or deletion. So, the main task of in linked list is to manipulate the data. So, what is the stack? Stack. Stack is uh, one, one type of list. It is used. The main task of stack is to reverse the numbers. Not the numbers, the data. Data. So, what is the difference between array list and vector? Uh, vector is synchronous one. Array list is not synchronous one. Uh, vector is thread shape and vector is a legacy class. Uh, array list is uh, raw thread shape. Uh, the uh, performance of array list is high compared to vector. So, what is the what is the set interface? Set interface. Uh, it, it, it is one type of uh, collection framework. Uh, set interface in the in the set interface uh, we have uh, two implementing classes. Uh, two implementing classes. One is three three set and uh, hash set. So, can you explain about three set? Uh, key set. Uh, uh, there are some properties for key set. Uh, in this, uh, the homo only homogeneous elements are elements of data is uh, is allowed. Uh, homogeneous elements are allowed, and uh, the by, by default it has some order that is ascending order. So can we insert null values into the key set? Null values. Can we insert null values? No, we cannot insert null values. Null keys are okay, sir. We cannot insert. So in the hash set, can we insert null values? Yes. So, so in entire collection framework, so all the collection objects will uh, allow with heterogeneous objects. Yes or no? Yeah. So what are the two uh, which will not allow the heterogeneous objects? Preset and preset. Three set and tree map. Okay. So in tree map, so what is the map interface? Map interface is uh, it is a interface. It has uh, heterogeneous it accepts heterogeneous accept, but there is no order for the map interface. So in map interface, heterogeneous keys are uh, keys and val values are there. So is heterogeneous keys allowed in the tree map? No. Heterogeneous values? Yes. So, why? What is enumeration? Enumeration is one type of cursor uh, which is used uh, to get the data in one by one order. So, how do you create an enumeration cursor? By using elements method. So, what are the limitations of enumeration? Uh, enumeration is only used for rotating the data, not used for uh, deleting or adding the data. And it is only used for legacy classes. So then, what is the iterator cursor? Iterator cursor is used to uh, take the data in one by one order. Uh, it has 
it is used for all universal classes like it is used to implement for all the classes and in this we can read the data and uh, delete the data <coughs> So, can you write uh, program questions? So, write a program for reverse of an array. Okay, so write a program for reverse of an array. So, you know, the, you know all the concepts, but the thing is, you are not, uh, you need to increase your voice because your voice represents your confidence. So, you need to improve your voice and you need to be uh, confident. So, that is the main thing you need to improve. So, improve your voice and be confident, don't get tensed. So, you still have to overcome your tension. Okay? Thank you. Thanks.